Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Hey everyone, I'm gonna go check traps, figure if I catch anything, I'll do a catch and cook. I did a uh, quail catch and cook in yesterday's video. So, a uh, few more days left of muskrat, and then it's strictly beaver from here on. So, all right, stay tuned, we'll see what we get. Appreciate everyone being here, all you guys' support. It means a lot to me. Thanks for being here, guys. guys. I'm back. Uh, Checking some 330s I got. Got uh, nothing in that one. <laughs> well, this guy's seen better days. Definitely, he's definitely seen better days. I found a, coming along here when there was ice, I broke the edge out and I found where they were, had a tunnel there. And then we found another tunnel over there. I didn't bring my, I'm just checking right after work. I didn't bring my setters with me, but usually I'm do okay without them. Luckily, the season's still in for muskrat. So I can actually utilize him. He picked the wrong trail to swim down. He's slowly leaving me right now. Get this back in here. Run it right down that, right down in the hole there. I take this stick, find my jaws, push it open, over, right into it like that. And that holds my trap, keeps it steady. Hmm. Nice rat. See what the dam looks like. I've been breaking it. And you got my cross over here still. Well, one of them got tripped off here. And I got her cut out really bad here.
got a double set here. Whenever they come back in, I want to be able to get them when they come to fix this. I got it broken good. Nope, nothing in that one. They've been here. Possibly, looks like. Well. Alright, I'll get back to the house and get this muskrat skinned up. <clears throat> Stay tuned, guys. Hi guys, we're in where all the live streams happen. Oop. Showing off my lure I got from Pondoms Outdoors. It says Trevor G Outdoors on it. Established 2016. I keep that right there. Usually it's in my bag, but I pulled it out to show it off. Just kidding. Just kidding. tails off. This is going to be a first time having the tail on there when I do this stuff. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. Pretty cold. Definitely pretty cold. I do have a fancy knife, but you see how my... <laughs> She's just right there. Maybe I could change the knife blades real quick. I've never done it yet. Haven't had it very long. I thought I went dull too fast myself. I don't know if I really like it or not. But we'll give it one more try. Okay, I see how it works now. You gotta pull this up. God, that still doesn't work that great. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Okay, whatever. I don't really care for that. Too ambitious. I'm kind of in a rush. I'm not gonna lie. I got a basketball game I gotta be at, but I want to do this video so. You just slow down a little bit. Well, them legs are not very... Must have got clipped a little bit by the 330. Very cold.
Okay, what I would do normally. Toss him on there. Flush him out. There really ain't much on these dang things. I don't know the best way to do this. boldly go where no one has gone before. Chick, 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 Okay, I think I'm digging that. Nope, all that stuff's cleaned up. Alright guys, I uh, let her soak salt water for a day. I decided I'm just gonna do like a pot roast type of deal. So I got my carrots. Five o'clock in the morning. I'm not prepared to be doing this this early. I couldn't sleep, so here we are. It's definitely not a knife I want for that. Dude. Potatoes. My wife's gonna make the gravy. So, I'm not very good at that. When I get home from work, I'll make a plate. This should be pretty dang good, actually.
Cut them up a little bit more. A little bit of spice. My fajita seasoning. Getting low. About to do it for a new batch. Then I got. What the hell? Where'd it go? Oh. Minced garlic. before I filled it up with water, but Good to go. Clean my mess up. Alright, guys. I'll see you in a little bit when she's done. Stay tuned. Now, well, guys, here she is.
you'll have to deal with small bones and such. That's kind of the bad thing about it. Oh, it just kind of turned into a whole bunch of small pieces of meat and bones. See all the little bones in there. A little chunk of meat right there, though. Just gotta make sure you get the bones out. It's kind of hard to debone it. I'll get it all drained and picked through and get all the bones out of it. Turn it into like a pulled pork. See the small bones? It's going to be kind of iffy. It may be for, not for the squeamish. made me some hopefully this is in there made me some gravy with the base basically you're going to have to watch for all these small bones here see all these small bones almost impossible to debone it. There's just not that much meat really to be able to pick out all the, you know what I mean? So, yeah, get you over here to the table. Try this out. Yes, I've already tasted it, so <laughs> I nibbled on her a little bit already. So you already seen everything I put in, so let's try the gravy and carrots. A little bit of meat, make sure that there's no bone first. It's one of them deals you can't just crazily dig right into it. Because you gotta make sure there's no bones. I know I keep saying that, but there is some tiny bones in there. Like. Gravy. I got a few people that are my, I posted this into my members and they were saying I should have put sliced apples in there and I also should have put in some uh, bacon. Next one. Next season I plan on doing this a lot more. Maybe out on the field or something like that. I can grill one and some stuff like that, but definitely gonna try some bacon on there. I can definitely check that off the list. There's something I, you know, I've skinned so many dang muskrats. They, oh man, when you skin them, they smell so horrible. But it's really not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. The last one, everybody wanted some uh, meat and potatoes and some gravy. So here you go. Meat, potatoes, and some gravy right there. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next Catch and Cook. Appreciate y'all being here. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my Teespring. There's all kinds of merch on there now. It's on the bottom of every video. You'll see my merch shelf. And that'll get you to where you need to go. 
Appreciate it. I want to see pictures so everybody gets it. Appreciate it, guys. Later.